Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide Series. This guide outlines how to integrate Wise as a basic plugin into the new Unreal project. We also add test content to ensure Unreal and Wise are communicating correctly. For this guide, you will not need to compile any audio code in Unreal or have any programming knowledge. The automated Wise integration suggested should allow you to work with Wise without any issues. However, in a professional environment, working on a release project, you will need to assess if WISE should be used as a basic plugin needing minimal code support, or if WISE needs fully integrating into C++ which requires much more programming time. This decision can be decided on the audio content and global project needs. We suggest for a professional project if you do not have C++ knowledge, to have a supporting programmer to assist with WISE and Unreal code-based audio tasks. Before we start, we need to first install the WISE launcher. Then use the WISE launcher to integrate WISE into the Unreal project that we created in Chapter 01. Go to the Audio Kinetic website, then create a personal account. Under the website's product tab, then WISE, scroll to the bottom of the page. Then click on the download button. Select your operating system, then install the WISE launcher. Once the WISE launcher is installed, open the WISE launcher. In the WISE tab, install new version. Get the latest version by clicking on the Install button. Under Packages, you must have the Authoring and SDK or C++ tick boxes ticked. Under Deployment Platforms, for now, select Microsoft and Apple. Under Target Directory, select where you want this version of WISE to be downloaded to. Then start the download. Once the WISE version you have downloaded is completed, close and reopen the WISE launcher. Under the Unreal Engine tab, you should now see your Unreal project name, e.g. WISE underscore demo. Under the associated Unreal project name you wish to install WISE into, click on the Integrate WISE into Project UI button. On the next screen, leave all default settings as they are. Then click the Integrate UI button. WISE will now start integrating into your Unreal project. Once operation completed successfully is displayed in the WISE launcher, you are now ready to set up WISE and the Unreal content. We need to test that WISE is working with Unreal. So we will set up a simple looping test audio asset in WISE to confirm WISE and Unreal are communicating correctly. In the WISE launcher, under your project name, click on the Open in WISE version number UI button. In WISE, navigate to the Audio tab, Actor Mixer Hierarchy, Default Work Unit. Right click the work unit, then select New Child, Actor Mixer. Name it Test. Drag in a looping audio asset under the Test Actor Mixer, something you will easily recognize like a sine wave. In the Audio File Import window, place the asset under the Audio File Destination Path, SFX, New Folder, then call it Test. Select the looping asset, then in the Properties Editor, General Settings tab, tick the loop box. Right-click the looping audio asset, then select New Event, then Play. Navigate to the Events tab. Under the Events folder, Default Work Unit, right-click the Work Unit, then select New Child, Virtual Folder. Name it Test. Drag the new test event into the new test virtual folder. Then change the event name to sfx underscore test underscore emv underscore loop underscore start. Navigate to the Soundbanks tab. Right click the default work unit. Then select New Child Soundbank. Name it sb underscore test. Navigate to the WISE toolbar, Layouts, then Soundbanks. In the Soundbank Manager list, select the Test Soundbank. Ensure the Test Soundbank Editor window is on the Add tab. Then drag the following content into the Test Soundbank Editor list Add tab. Audio tab, Actor Mixer Hierarchy, Test Actor Mixer. Then under the Events tab, Events folder, Default Work Unit, Test Virtual Folder. Now we need to pack up the audio content into the Wise Test Soundbank. In the Soundbank Manager window, apply the following settings. Tick the Default Work Unit. Also, auto-ticking the new Test Soundbank child. Under Platforms, 
tick either PC or Mac or both. Under Languages, tick English USA. Then click on the UI button, Generate All. Close the Soundbank window once it is completed, then save your WISE project updates. The WISE Soundbanks are now up to date with our test content. Next we set up a simple, consistent, Unreal folder structure. Then associate the new WISE test events and Soundbanks within Unreal. Boot up Unreal. Again, use the WISE launcher to open the corresponding Unreal project. Click on the Open in Unreal version number UI button. Once Unreal opens, we need to check WISE paths are correct. In the toolbar Edit tab, Project Settings, WISE, then User Settings, confirm the path listed is the same as the WISE version you have installed. Then close the Project Setting windows. Next, we check Unreal can see the test WISE content. Under the Unreal toolbar, Windows, WISE Picker, under the Events Default Work Unit, Test Work Unit, you should see the event sfx underscore test underscore emv underscore loop underscore start. Close the WISE Picker window. In the Content Browser, Content Top Hierarchy Folder, right click, then select New Folder. Name it Audio. In the New Audio Folder, right click, then select New Folder. Name it Test. Open the WISE Picker. Then drag the sfx underscore test underscore emv underscore loop underscore start event from the WISE Picker into the test folder. Under the audio folder, right click, then select new folder. Name it sound underscore banks. In the sound banks folder, right click, then select audio kinetic, then audio kinetic bank. Name it sb underscore test. Note this name must match the WISE sound bank name. Return to the test event, then open the event's properties, then assign it to the new test sound bank. Save the event updates and close the event properties window. In the Unreal Toolbar, Build tab, select Audio Kinetic, then Generate Soundbanks. In the Generate Soundbanks window, leave all options listed selected, then click on the Generate UI button. Once the soundbanks have been completed, you should see a pop up message at the bottom right of the Unreal screen, stating a change has been detected and would you like to import them. Click on the Import button. Now we have test content ready, we can implement the new test event into our Chapter 01 created map to ensure WISE and Unreal audio content is working correctly. In the Content Browser, navigate to the Content then Maps folder, select the map, map underscore WISE underscore demo. Navigate to the Modes tab list, then under Place, All Classes, drag the AK Ambient Sound object into the map. In the Details tab, add the following changes. AK Component, assign the event to the AK Audio Event AK Ambient Sound, tick Auto Post. Under Spatial Audio, untick the Spatial Audio tick box. Under the World Outliner Hierarchy Main Parent Folder, right click, then select Create Folder. Name it Audio underscore SFX. Under the Audio underscore SFX folder, add a new folder called SFX underscore Test. Move the new AK Ambient Sound item into the new SFX underscore Test folder. Then rename the item to sfx underscore test underscore emv underscore loop. Save the map updates. Boot up and play the map. You should hear the looping audio asset playing in 2D space. You have now confirmed WISE is communicating with Unreal correctly. So that this test content does not interfere with the rest of this guide series, locate the test content in WISE, then reduce the volume to minus 96. Save the WISE project and generate the WISE and Unreal sound banks. Sadly, no global buses have been set up to control the default implemented audio content in Unreal. We will need to go through each Unreal audio queue and audio assets are not associated to an audio queue to set the volume to 0.0. .0. Navigate to the Content Browser, Content, Starter Content, Audio Folder. Double click on one of the audio queues. Then in the new window, in the Details tab, scroll down to the Sound category. 
Change the volume value to 0.0. .0. Save the update. Repeat the above steps for all audio cues in this folder location. To silence the gunfire audio asset, navigate to the content browser, content, first person audio folder. Double click the audio asset, then in the pop-up window, under the sound categories, change the volume value to 0.0. .0. Save the update. All Unreal audio default content is now silenced.